Welcome back. Today on the dyno, we have made the most power ever with our TVS 2650 supercharger. We had some aspirations to hit that sort of number, but to actually do it and back it up is absolutely phenomenal. Marcus, it's great to get together finally. We've been working on this engine combination for a little while, but your business, Speed Pro Distributors, has got a long history in Melbourne and Australia, much like Harrop, supporting racing of all sorts. Yeah, we've been around since uh, 1989, supporting pretty much every form of motorsport, from the boats, drag cars, circuit cars, you kind of name it. Supplying good quality products, uh, especially brands like Harrop, Speedflow, Higgins. We like supporting Australian made products as much as we can, especially the quality that comes out of the Australian market these days. Yeah, it's really world class and mm. we're at Dandy Engines today and they've been great partners for both Speed Pro and, and Harrop on their dyno. But like me, you're an enthusiast, you've been racing for a while and tell us a little bit about the, uh, the old Falcon that's been uh, drag racing for many years. Yeah, so the old Falcon originally came from my father. It was a uh, six-cylinder XB sedan that used to tow his boat around when we were younger. And then over time, we kind of developed it. We brought in a 460 crate motor from Bill Mitchell. That was a 600 horsepower crate motor. We developed that over time with Dandy Engines to produce over 800 horsepower, running well into the nines. We like keeping them street driven, drive to and from the track. Yeah, the drag and drive format has really grown massively in the last five to ten years. Mm. Um, drag challenges, obviously, the street machine guys have done a fantastic job with that event. So fast forward, the XB is getting a pretty major repower and upgrade with this engine combination. And what was the inspiration to work on this? Basically, as I said, it's still going to be a street combination. So we still wanted to have it in that drag and drive realm. We kind of looked at a fair few options, whether they go the turbo route, a lot of people have done that, but you've got a lot of clutter as far as turbo manifolds and there's a lot going on and a lot of fabrication work to go turbo route. We've gone down the nitrous route, nitrous on the street, you can't really get away with it too much. And after driving a supercharged combination like these, yep. you really can't go past them on a street strip application. So it's a small block Ford and we've had a number of you know great combos that we've worked with Dandy Engines and others and even the small block Ford that Ross had in his Mustang had a lot of Speed Pro source components and the Godzilla obviously that nads with fuel techs running in his Falcon. But this is one of one in terms of the supercharger combination and the engine is a cleavor. So give us a run through of, you know, bottom to top. So this is a fairly popular combination we've had. We've had Dandy Engines build quite a lot of these that make anywhere from eight to 900 horsepower as a street trim. So internal oil pump, we kind of kept the combination fairly simple. So this is a Cali's four inch stroke crank, Oliver Rods, diamond pistons. But realistically, it's kind of an off the shelf, like dart block, still got a factory timing cover, timing chain, mechanically driven water pump. So still very streetable. You don't have to run any dry sump, nothing too exotic on that aspect. Headwise, off the shelf Higgins heads. So basically you can go straight into Higgins, buy these as they come, bolt them on, and away you go. Cast a machine here in Melbourne, a yeah, great Australian company and gets fantastic results, whether it's boosted or aspirated. And it's a cleave all by definition. So it's a Windsor bottom end with a Cleveland based head. And we did run the engine aspirated and I think it was like nearly 800 horsepower, yeah. 780 horsepower. Yeah, 780 horsepower aspirated. So obviously that set up in mind that we were going to put a blower on it. So the mm. camshaft was a little bit down on some of the sure. uh, dandy engines, usual combinations they run for the big horsepower ones. Yep. Still made well in the high 500s foot pound of torque. Yep. So still, even for a street engine would be ample, would be probably more than enough than the, for the XB. So the rotating assembly combination, it's a 434 cubic inch engine. Yep. So plenty of displacement and fuel wise, to run as it is now, we've run it on E85, good accessible fuel and runs a little bit cooler. Cruising on the street, you could go back to a pump premium unleaded, but to lean on it and to race on it, it'll be on E85. Which brings us to the supercharger. So it's our top mount design. It's similar to what we've got with some of our other configurations across the different V8 engine families. But what's unique is we've got a billet lower intake plenum 
that's got a V shape like a single plane with two really large intercooler cores on, on both banks. And Clayton, our engineering manager, has done a phenomenal job on that. Interestingly, I think the overall height here, which is a common question with people putting it under the hood of, of their various cars, it's pretty similar to where the throttle body sits on a single plane aspirated setup. Yeah, so basically the top of the throttle body would be pretty much the only one with the top of the blower. So it's our TVS 2650 internals from Eaton. This configuration is running the 110 cable actuation, but we've been running a few different combinations on the dyno just to evaluate the inlets. So there's a drive-by-wire and cable version of this 110. And we know the importance of a large throttle plate in terms of the air delivery to the rotors. So we also tried, Nick Williams have got a 120. We modified the snout of one of these front covers and adapted that and gave that a run as well. But the numbers have been phenomenal. Like the engine's incredibly efficient uh, in aspirated form. And then with our positive displacement supercharger, where did we start today? That was like sort of 16 pounds and we saw like 1,370 straight away. Yep, yeah, without even trying too hard. Yeah, pretty much jumps 1,370 straight away. Obviously, we had to start off the dyno a little bit higher for the sheer torque figures it was actually making down low. Yeah, this combination, looking at the torque all the way through that range, mm. so it's got monster torque all the way through. And then we turned up the boost, so we went a little bit smaller on the top pulley, and that took it to 18 or 19 PSI. The drive system so critical on these combinations, particularly at max effort. It's got a billet heavy duty tensioner, it's running a 12 rib dedicated supercharger belt. The performance is phenomenal mm -hmm. and in the final tune up we saw some great numbers. Yeah, especially yeah, a combination like this to make it in excess of 1500 horsepower is quite amazing. It shows you the quality of all the products involved, it's quite impressive. By the time it comes to the market everything's going to be able to buy off the shelf to piece together a combination that can make 1500 plus mm -hmm. horsepower is quite impressive. Yeah, I know we had some aspirations to, to hit that sort of number, but to actually do it and back it up is is absolutely phenomenal. Frank from Danny Engines has done a brilliant job putting the engine combination together. NADS with fuel tech on the tune-up, it's all fuel tech control, which is what you'll be using in the car. Yep, definitely. Obviously our supercharger, the engineering work that's gone into that is just brilliant. So I know we're going to have quite a lot of inquiry on, on having this come to market and it'll be exciting to um, get this into the car and get it mm. to the track. If all goes to plan, we'll try and uh, debut it at Drag Challenge uh, 2025. So we've got a bit of work to do to kind of get it in there and try and get it to the racetrack, but uh, definitely or certainly should open a few eyes by the time we get it there. Well, it's on video now, so yep. it's, it's got to happen. No backing down. Programs like this can't happen with awesome partners. Big thank you to Fuel Tech, Dandy Engines, Speed Pro, the team at Harrop. Stay tuned. Check out the social media pages for each of our partners. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.